Hello everyone. Hello. Hello. What is going on here? <laughs> I always have little surprises, right? Um, today I wanted to compare, compare, contrast. I have a lot of C words in there. I was trying to sort out. Um, that's how my mind works sometimes. So if you're new to my channel, I misspeak a lot. So welcome. Welcome. <laughs> you're always welcome here. Um, I am going over the Moterm Veg Tan covers. So I have been collecting these for about a year. I did not expect to, um, but I was really curious on how all the colors compared to each other. Now these are not all the colors and I've been getting massive deals on these. So this is not like I went out and spent <laughs> exactly how much uh, Moterm is um, charging for these. Uh, but I did want to like, especially in these colors, it's, they're so close. Some of them, I really wanted to compare. And then I thought, well, why don't I kind of, um, compare them in front of the front of these, because I am going to be selling some of these, um, pr probably like half of them. <laughs> I don't need this many. Uh, I don't have indigo, which is like more of a navy that would be in here. This is actually black. I don't have dune, which is the new one. Um, and I don't have red. Uh, I don't know what, exactly what they call that one. But, um, and I have to check to see, let me see um, on their website here, if I have any others that are... So these are the vegetable tan only. Oh, I don't have yellow. What do they call it? Um, so I have apricot in this order. I have apricot, honey, caramel, uh, chestnut. Those are the ones that I kept confusing. This is midnight. Um, no crimson for the red. Uh, forest and espresso brown. I don't have the dark brown one. Um, and then this is the deep teal. Plum is here. And khaki green. And the indigo and dune. So yeah, this is like most of them. I needed to see them um, and just kind of compare. Like their grains are all kind of different. You see here, this one's a little bit more... Um, granular <laughs> in here. And so is this one. These are all different sizes too. So I'm using them in different ways. And I think I'll go dark to light. Um, because I have it like I'm actually using this one and a couple other ones. So let me <laughs> get this pile kind of off to the side here and we can go through these. I'm making this video mainly because I kept searching for a video out there that was like this and I couldn't find, like I needed something to compare the colors. So I'm hoping this might help somebody. Um, so this is just an A5. Um, it's beautiful. It's so soft. This one came just so, so soft. Most of these have not been used much. Um, and sometimes people get a hold of these and they're like, I don't, I don't know what this is. Maybe they get them as a gift. I have no idea. Um, but this one is absolutely amazing. I am using it. Um, actually the cover is in there. I'm using this, um, for my Sterling Inc. five year. And I am writing this one for my son. Um, so there is some personal stuff in here already, but I find like getting this out and doing um, daily journals in here, just amazing. Um, when you compare this, actually I got out my other, my black pebbled one. You can kind of see like the, the difference there in terms of is the black, like this one looks a little darker. Um, I think it's just how the grain is. I would say their colors are very consistent across the board. I don't know Gilio's. I don't know, um, oh, what's the other? Vanderspeck. I don't, I don't know any of those. I'm probably not going to, although I said I wasn't going to get into leather covers either <laughs> for a year ago. Um, but yeah, this, this, I love how smooth this one is, but I also love how 
other ones aren't so smooth. Um, this one I know I'll be selling. This is the teal. And I wanted to also show this in... I had an A5 of this one. This one's I'm, this one I'm keeping because I do love the teal color, but you can see there's quite a difference um, between these two. And it also depends which version you're getting. So when I open this up, I believe this is an older one. Um, I think some of the ones with the like driver's license clear kind of part there are like the older ones. I don't think, I think they're phasing those out. So. It can be that this teal cover, teal color, um, is like changing a little bit, but I would say this is pretty close to like what the veg tan would probably be. And then this one does look just slightly darker. If you can kind of see it, just a slight more blue. Again, all of these covers are used. This one I know was used. This one is too. It's, I couldn't tell you what year, but again, I have, like if I have one and I receive a different size of it and maybe a different year of it, it's very close. It's very, very close. I mean, if you want to compare it to black, I the indigo would probably be in between these. So now evergreen is the one that I've been loving the most. This is just a personal rings. Um, and again, I think this one, it might be the newer one. I think they're doing three pockets on here. I'd have to check. There's again, a couple versions. I'm not too worried about this. I'm more concerned, concerned, delighted about, uh, I love this evergreen color. Like I'm literally almost wearing it right now. Um, this is just one of my favorites and this one came nice, really nice, smooth. Um, I'm trying to think I have that. Oh, Sorry if I'm talking over my shoulder real quick. Um, I tried to pull some, oh, here it is. This is my Weeks that I use all the time. And you can see just how similar in color those are. Now, they aren't ex exact. Um, oh, my son's very excited about something. <laughs> um, and I would say this one feels maybe a little more squishy than this one. I think the personal ones, are a little bit thicker um, to hold up to the rings. And then this, these don't need to be quite as thick. Now this one came with, someone had put a binder clip up here and all I did was just kind of like roll this a little bit and it came out. So I don't mind seeing like this, like I can notice that it's been rolled just very slightly, but that whole binder clip is like gone. I'm trying to see. Yeah, I don't think there's even evidence of it up here anymore. It was like it came down kind of in this area, if you can kind of see it. But I mean, look how like the grain of this is just, it's gorgeous. And that's the thing is you kind of, you get a mix and you're, when you order from Moterm, you just don't know what you're going to get. So um, most of mine have been pretty smooth. I, I will say that. But I'm loving this evergreen. I have one more evergreen that it's, it's just like this. And I, I won't say anything more about it because that's kind of a surprise thing coming up. Um, and then the olive green, it's not my favorite. I have to say there's a lot more yellow in here. My, this is, I'm filming with a, an iPhone 12, so it's old, but, um, there is a lot of yellow here and there are some spots over here. So I was wondering like how olive is olive and it's, it's definitely more of like a khaki kind of color. Um, but I was like, can this like, this to me feels more like winter green. That's evergreen, winter green. This feels a little bit more spring-like. So I'm wondering um, if, you know, I might, Go this color around that time but again it's very yellow so i don't think i'll use it in the pocket so I'll, i will be selling that one and then the wine color i do have a couple wine i have a, a week's one that i'm going to be keeping um and a lot of these like these start with 19 inch 19 inch <laughs> 19 millimeter um and then you can get 
you know, wants to swap out. Um, I'm not sure about pocket. I think the pockets have 30 that you can get to put in there. I, I had trouble finding a 25 for an A6 um, when I was searching around. I'm sure if I like really search for one, but I do like the smaller size of these. Some people like a really chunky, you know, little pocket size like this. Um, I like the smaller ones. And then this um, was quite the used find. Um, this is only part of it. So this is the chestnut. And I really wanted to try out like, um, this normally has another insert here and this is definitely older because again, it has the little window. Um, but there was an insert here that had rings and I don't know where that went, but um, I was putting in a B6 here and a, um, so this was like, be like a personal, I think it's a personal Versa, but probably one of the first ones. And then I was using this for a pen and just putting a B6 in there. But the B6 needed to chunk up quite a bit because there's a lot of room in this um, right here. Like that's that's quite a lot that my B6 was not really filling up yet. So I do wanna keep experimenting with this. I do love it because it just has that, that extra pen holder in there. And so this is like, I like the more old older ones that are maybe, I don't know, I, I like, finding things that are at least like 10 years old, <laughs> 20 years old. Um, and I'll share one more detail about that. Um, but these were the ones that I found the most fascinating. So apricot, honey, caramel, and the, um, I just said it, chestnut. <laughs> there we go. I just found like comparing these colors was like, these were so similar. These two were so similar. And like, could this end up being a little bit too brown? And then people have been mislabeling them online. Um, sometimes I would find one that says this one's honey and then it's actually caramel. Now, when I bought this one, it did say caramel. And um, it's just that people don't, like they're, the names are so similar <laughs> that people just get confused. They're not trying to do anything. Now the apricot one definitely is, um, much lighter, you know, and it's, it's showing up actually a bit more yellow on the screen, but maybe that's because I have my color shift going on. I'm filming this at night. This is very much skin, peachy skin almost. Um, I'm trying to think, I mean, that's just a gold lid, but just like that's pretty yellow. Um, do I have a marker to hold up that's kind of more yellow? Yeah, let me open this. It's just a Tombow. There we go. And this is more of like a warm yellow. So if you see, like, there are some kind of undertones there, but this is definitely more of a peach, almost pinky color. Um, and then when you open it up, you see it's even lighter kind of on the inside. Um, like this is a darker piece and then this is like a super light smooth piece right here. That's really interesting. It kind of matches right here. And then these are more bumpy here. So you can have so many different textures in these. Um, this is, I really wanted to see this in person. Again, totally used. It's not, and I may link it to this video when I sell this. Um, to me, it looks a little like used in this area here. I don't think it's like brand new. So, um, I, I don't think I could use this color. I think some people can age this and get it, you know, more, um, set it out in the sun, make it more patina than everything. I just, I'm not going to do that, <laughs> but I definitely wanted to compare it and see it with the other ones. Um, I, these are my favorites right here. Uh, I love the honey. That's kind of like, I bought this one brand new. This is like the only one I bought brand new from Moterm. Um, cause I wanted it for my B6 and, um, I had gotten a, let's see, it should be back here. Yeah. This honey one, 
And so you can see actually between these two, this one is a bit more patinaed. So it's almost kind of like in between these. If you can kind of see, it is leaning more honey. Um, but this definitely has like, it's, it's super soft. This one definitely was used. And the person who sold it is like, no, this one's kind of a special one because it just, it feels so good. So definitely, you know, these are some of the ones that I'm definitely keeping. Um, but I was having a hard time getting a hold of like a caramel. So what happened was, this is a very used caramel B6 that someone, well, the seller converted to a personal rings. And like, this is just gorgeous. Um, so it's not like firmly in there. It's kind of tugging a little bit, but I just, I love this color so much. And the fact, see, it's, it's definitely very worn in a lot of these. I would not be surprised if this is at least five years old and part of the older ones. Um, but I loved, like, I could slip the rings out of here and use this for my B6. I was not a personal size person. I was not a B6 person until probably the last three, two months, two months when I got my um, B5 from paper tests. So it's definitely like, I kind of got both uses in one here. It's a little bit more floppy. Um, this is definitely more of like, it, it is a B6 cover, so it is more floppy. But um, I just love that you can kind of use it for both. And I, I'm like, hmm, maybe I could get like another B6 and like convert it. So this is, I think these are 30 rings on here. These are pretty big rings. Um, but, yeah, I just find this really fascinating. My neurodivergent brain has just been like really enjoying this process. And mainly I wanted to film this video before I sold quite a few of them and just wanted to compare all the colors in person and really get a good feel of them before I said goodbye to them. Um, I think these are so worth um, how much you pay for them. Again, I am... I am not a Gilio or a Vanderspeck or anything above $100 on one of these. A lot of these I have gotten more for like 50, sometimes lower than that. Um, sometimes I can find a week's for 20 bucks, <laughs> like sometimes. So um, I find that they hold up really well they are super soft they, there's more of a tactile feel being neurodivergent i really want to be able to feel you know my covers and these have definitely <laughs> given my brain the tinglys of just like feeling how how they feel in the hand and using them um so i love that aspect at this price point and i think a lot of people out there i've watched other videos of people kind of comparing them oh there's one more cover i wanted to compare Let's see. And that was, it It has nothing to do with these other ones. But the May Paper Co. that I just got, I just did a video on this. I wanted to show you kind of just like where this orange kind of sat. Um, when you see it, you see this is very much more red. And this, this is the um, honey here. Honey. And then it's really the closest to the caramel. Like if you look at these, these are so, so similar. So there's definitely a lot of orange in the caramel. And then when you compare it here, you can definitely see it's, I'm trying to pick up the pink in here and I don't know if you're seeing it, but there's a lot of pink in here. Um, maybe if I compare the white, there is a white zip here I got in an A6 that I find their whites very creamy. So the, these are definitely um, the pebbled, but um, I do like to show like there, it might be showing a little bit more pinky, although this is a little pinky as well. So this is actually <laughs> their cream white. And I would say it's has some pink tones to it. 
I don't know if you can kind of see that. It's very subtle. This might be a little bit more bright white. If you look at the edges, this is more of a white here. And then you can see those are kind of cream. But then when you put this one in between, you might be able to see, it still looks very yellow on my screen, but this has a little tiny bit more pink in it. And this is a little bit more white. So just to kind of give, I just, I use that for my stickers. You can kind of see here, see this is white and this is like slightly pink, but then this white matches a little bit better here. And then this is like a taupe. This is very, well, it's a little pinky. Um, yeah, if you can kind of see how like pink, white, taupe, and then this is the, oh, what's it called? Apricot. I think apricot is, is a good name because it does, it can skew just a little slightly pink, but tan it over. It gets nice and yellow, um, like expose it to some light and things like that. So yes do i have a massive collection here yes am i going to be selling a lot of these yes yes i mainly just needed to really really see them in person um so this one will be for sale soon these i'm keeping um yeah these i'm gonna sell the, this one I'm definitely going to sell. So if you're interested in any of these, I know these are going to be sold. Um, and I do have some more that will be being sold. Um, I am trying to see which service I'm going to use. I believe I'm going to be putting these under Poshmark. Um, but yeah, I think that's where I'm going to be posting these. So I'm going to try to post these in the next little bit i'm hoping to have like these posted um by the time this goes up uh, that's it's going to be kind of mid towards like valentine's day <laughs> so that's probably when you're going to see this and it's probably when these will be actually posted so yay um i think that's what i'm going to do is like that whatever link is down below hopefully it's poshmark if not it's going to be mercari um but these will be up for sale. I do, I will be like rotating quite a few through. Um, I plan to, I would love to get a lot of these sold off. Um, but yeah, it's again, I've been getting these at such a discount. It's just been kind of nice. And now they just need to go to new homes. So I'll just end with that. These are the main ones I'm keeping and loving all these colors. And I, I like to switch. That's the other thing is like, I really like to switch between colors, um, you know, like fall, fall and winter, and then lighter in the spring. It just, to me, I, I just like having some options around. So let me know if you have any questions and, um, yeah, I would love to hear your comments on like how the, um, veg tan has been working for you. Uh, what you like and don't like about them. Um, yeah. And, and if you have any questions on finding used ones, definitely eBay. I've been finding a lot on eBay. Yeah, this almost looks blue, but it's not. This is black here. So I just keep looking at it through. I don't think it's blue. I've always seen it as black. Yeah, it looks black. Um, yeah. Let me know. Um, and if you like this kind of stuff, um, I will be doing more rings content. So if you enjoyed this comparison, like this video, I think, um, that I think a lot of people are curious about these colors and I think, um, it might help spread some awareness about how these compare. But if you like some of this, um, content, please consider subscribing. I do a lot, um, in, booklets, um, well, bound books. So, uh, Sterling Inc, paper tests, and then, um, be getting more into rings, uh, this coming year. So take care everyone. And thank you so much for joining me. Bye.